fans in teal and black are ready to lock down the bank as you get a look inside Everbank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. And good starting. position he'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line It's Leonard Fournette, and he's not even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now there's also a flag down, and it's in the area of holding. Shift together here from the D-line. Now Bortles throwing on second down. Caught right side, it's Lewis. Four yards on the pickup, and just like that, it's third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter, he's gonna get some catches, but that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. They down on the spot, because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Throwing his Bortles on third down. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And this is caught at the 20. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. Now after the completion, we're gonna get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Fournette, a first down carry. And they're gonna lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to Tration and throw people for losses. On second down, here's Fournette. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And they're going to face a third down. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader and quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing, and let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real, and it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Got to give him strong consideration for MVP talk. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. So on fourth down, on comes the Jaguars. Jason Myers now for the field goal try. From the left hand here, and Myers able to knock it through. Grab a 3-0 lead. So the folks here in the stands this afternoon, they're happy about that. What are the opening drive field goal? And they should be happy. Their guys look good getting down the field, and that's got to give them hope that good things are in store here today. Wilson and his first pass is incomplete so the incomplete pass brings up second down Now Wilson, going to throw again. And the 
Jags get to him as down he goes. Yannick Ngakwe in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that is incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now John Ryan, 12th year in the league, on to punt it away. Backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down. He had one man to beat. It takes a touchdown saving tackle to bring him down. Now the Jags will have great field position to start this drive as they take over on the short side of the field. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Again, it's Fournette. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. They go play action for Yeldon. Now it's Bortles. And Robinson with a big catch. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. The Jags first down. Bortles to Robinson. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Bortles on the give to Fortet. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. The Jaguars on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. From the gun, it's Bortles. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Mike Bennett in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So it just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So that scores now on their first two possessions, but it's 6 nothing. probably not the kind of scores they were hoping for. No, not at all, but I think that they've shown that they can have some success against this defense. So they'll go back to the sideline knowing the points are going to be there for the taking. Now Seattle now ready to march out of the field, and they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. 
And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little I bit don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. <laughs> just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> On first down, Wilson. This complete to Lockett. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. take this one up to the 35-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Back to the ground on first. Again, it's Rawls. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He makes a wonderful play there off the corner, protecting his side of the field. Oh, that reminds me of the great defenses of old, doesn't it? The Pittsburgh Steelers, Steel Curtain. They would not let you get on the field if you could only do one thing. You had to be a complete guy, and you had to be able to tackle. Now, I know I've said this before, but you know I wasn't alive when the Steel Curtain was playing. <laughs> I, I know them, but I, I just want to let you know I wasn't alive. I'm going to keep peppering that in there, and one of these days, you're going to think that you were. <laughs> on second down, here's Wilson. And it's complete. Thomas Rawls. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Now Wilson on first down. Dancing to his left. And left side here, it's Graham. That throw good for four. It's second down. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. On second down, Wilson. Baldwin with it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now Wilson on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Now Wilson. And he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. 
And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL and that's speed. They want it at every position and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people and make tackles near the sidelines. Well, not only near the sideline but also in the backfield there for the loss. They'll run it again with Fournette. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. A gain of a yard gets him back where they started. Now it's third and 10. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. From the gun on third down, Bortles. Hard throw, incomplete. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. This is fielded at the seven. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming up later tonight, a reminder, one of the best rivalries going. We'll have the Ravens and Steelers for you at 8.30 Eastern. And then tomorrow on Monday night, another divisional matchup. This time it's the Pats heading down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Nice two for there. The drive begins with a run by Rawls. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Wilson now looking to throw on second down, escaping the pressure right. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Oh, design run for their wide out. They find some open field here. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. It's caught, lock it, and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Wilson to lock it there for the Seahawk first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Throw on first down with Wilson, eluding the pressure right. 
Finding room inside the 40. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. one out to his fullback seven yards on the play and it'll make it second down and the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher it often works when they decide to dial it up Wilson to throw on second down. Complete. Richardson has it. 13 yards down to the 13. Partner, they weren't quite in the red zone, but things are starting to get condensed on the field. Throwing the corner route there. Really nice play because it gives them a little bit of room to complete it. On the red zone now. Here's Wilson on first down. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Tyler Lockett, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Seahawks are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. On first and ten, here's Bortles. He finds Hearns left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And they get him down right near the midfield stripe. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And Leonard Fournette impressing there with that run. It's hard to believe that no Jacksonville Jaguar has broken 1,000 yards since Maurice Jones drew in 2011. I think Leonard Fournette could be that guy. Even with the ankle injury last year at LSU, still averaged six and a half yards per carry. And absolutely intimidated opposing defenses. A lot of guys simply didn't want to tackle him. Now Leonard Fournette. Oh, he's got a little daylight. 20. Touchdown, Jaguars. A great effort there. His 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Jags are able to cash in for six. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we 
wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't score board watch. Everyone does it to some extent, but you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. Second down here after the incomplete pass. To throw is Wilson. Throwing again. And that is incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And it's third down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On third down, Wilson. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Dante Fowler. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Here's John Ryan now. Standing just outside his own goal line. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. This is taken at the 18. from six points as it stands it's a huge return and this offense they're going to have excellent field position they take over with a first and ten on the short side of the field and they'll start this drive with very good field position they'll run it now out of the gun and he'll be brought down just outside of the 30 a minute 59 to go in the first half Back with more from Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. On second down, here's Bortles. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And he'll go down at the 28. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Wardle's going to try and throw on third down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. scrimmage and now the Seahawks are going to call another timeout so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime timeout here called by the defense and with halftime on the horizon they'll be out of timeouts from here forward they'll try and run forward with Fournette and he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there. His second TD of the game and 18th of the year. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. And they're able to up the lead by one more. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. 
And he gets it to the 30-yard line, but the football's not going to stay there. There's a penalty marker down. So that will push him back. And now we know why he had a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back. That penalty will move them back. First and ten, Wilson lets this one rip toward Graham. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to him. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get him down here at the 23. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And the Seahawks on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They can use a conversion. This time they face a third and two. Now it's Wilson. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. He won't go down. <laughs> well, nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And possession will change here with very little time remaining until halftime. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry... the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Calais Campbell in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. 
to throw on second down. Wilson, he's going to air this. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Barry Church. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. They set themselves behind the chains, trying to get it all back in one play, and it backfired. Didn't it feel like a pitcher working his way into a 3-0 count, right? You're behind. What do your coaches always tell you? Get it back one pitch at a time. In this case, they tried to get it back right away, and it didn't work out. And a great spot to start this drive from here. They'll run with Fournette. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Toss it to Fournette. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. That would a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. But there's a reason he was the first running back taken. You saw the ability there, the ability to be physical and get downhill. And how about him breaking off a nice game there? There's some Adrian Peterson comparisons out there now. That's high praise. Do you think that they're warranted? Running style, very similar. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Second down, offense behind the sticks here. Second and 13. Throw it. Bortles being chased out left and avoids the contact by sliding. It's a gain of nine yards, and that'll lead here to a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On play action, now Bortles. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cliff Averill in there to bring him down, and that is sack number 17 for him now on the year. And Myers able to knock it through, and that will make this now a 19-point advantage. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. They set up the screen to Hill, and he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all. Looking for Rocket, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Paul Puzlozny. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Second and goal. Defense digging in. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. 
A great effort there. His third touchdown of the game, number 19 on the year. And the Jags take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And his kick is good. Here's Myers now to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And yeah, the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't. It. He's got a man complete. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyler Lockett with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Seahawks are able to close the gap just a bit. And they will line up now for the two-point try. From the gun, it's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he'll get in, and they're going to draw themselves two points closer. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now D.D. Westbrook to return. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. And now out come the Jags. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Here we go. Blue 45. They begin with a run by Fournette. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Bortles going to throw. This is caught by Hearns. A pretty nice, strong run, but can't break away. Down just inside the 30. That throw good for four. It's second down. Here's a carry for a former starter. This is T.J. Yeldon. <laughs> and he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. T.J. Yeldon, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. And lock it with a grab over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Now Wilson. Throw left 
left side complete. That's Richardson. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. On first and 10, it's Wilson. He sets to fire deep and almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big time receiver. Second and 10, it's Wilson again. And the grab made by Doug Baldwin. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First down, Seahawks, Wilson to Baldwin. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Throwing is Wilson. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're taking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Wilson to throw on third down. Forced out to his left. And on the left side here, Wilson. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. The largest deficit, by the way, the Seattle franchise has ever come back from. 21 points to the Bucs in 2013. Johnson and he's across the chalk into the end zone touchdown Seahawks it's the fullback his third touchdown now on the year and the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit so they're going to go for two They'll try and run for it with Hill. And he'll get in. And they're going to draw themselves two points closer. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game that two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for two early? That's what people are wondering about. They'll run it now out of the gun. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. I love it. A scout told me that with his running style, this guy's always the hammer, never the nail, but also has the ability to break it off big, too. I was on the field for a game he had last year at LSU, and there were some college boys warming up, <laughs> and then Leonard Fournette walked in. He is a man. Full grown. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. The 20, 10, touchdown. Jaguars. Jordan Leggett, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. 
And out now come the Seahawks. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now Wilson on first down. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Yannick Ngakwe in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. On second down, Wilson buying time to his left. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. The Seahawks on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. From the shotgun, Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. And that incompletion was caused by the defense. I think they were trying to get one into the middle of the field, trying to find a receiver there. But they were in zone defense. And what are the advantages of being in zone? Eyes and reaction. Eyes meaning all eyes are on the quarterback and able to react when he throws the football and rally to that spot. And that's exactly what happened there. Able to get there and knock it away. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It, it really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. And eventually brought down, but it's near the five at the six. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Six yards still to go here on second and goal. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Jaguars continue to roll. The extra point now coming from Myers. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. Deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. There's never a good place on the field to fumble the ball. Let's just call it as it is. But definitely not in your own red zone. <laughs> in your own red zone, it's heightened, isn't it? Because you're almost automatically giving up a score and the momentum, and everything just changes for your team. Yeah, so the kickoff fumble now, great field position. Now Fournette. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. I think this defense tired of seeing him run the football, and this D-line probably getting sick of the O-line as well. And as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about a conversation I had with Adam Gase, the head coach of the Miami Dolphins in the offseason. He told me that he asked his running backs each week for their favorite runs. Give me your three top runs. And right now, you're seeing a guy that's probably using his top runs to great advantage in this game. He is in a zone. Fournette. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. 
Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. Second down and go. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. TJ Yeldon with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Jaguars are pouring it on. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence, hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And he's going to go backward. They get him behind the line. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Again, they run with Hill. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Wasn't able to get anything, no gain. Fumbled once already. Maybe he's being a little careful. Not necessarily on that play, but I'm sure that's in his mind somewhere. Oh, without a doubt, because protecting the football is job one for anyone who's carrying it. And that's exactly what he tried to do on that play. But it didn't gain him any yardage. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. And the Seahawks on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and 16. Here's Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. That'll be a gain of 16. And that's going to make it fourth down. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards. And they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. stay on the ground this time it's hill and a big collision there as he winds up flat on his back at the 46 it's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four time for a break this one all over but the shouting we'll finish it after this Four yards remaining now on second down. They run it again with Hill. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now a first down carry. It's Hill. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Just a yard on the first down carry. So it's second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. 
I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Calais Campbell in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.